Hello, everyone. Welcome to 12th London Kurdish Film Festival, presenting Global Kurdish Film Festival for you. Um, I'm going to have a, a quick conversation with Apo Bezdi. Um, Apo Bezdi is with us. We have two films from Apo uh, screening at 12th London Kurdish Film Festival. Uh, one is Resistance is Life, uh, that is made in 2017. And his short fiction film, How Far Is Home, is one of his recent films made in 2021. Uh, has been still uh, going around the world and visiting all the festivals. Um, as you know, Apo uh, has been uh, quite active in, in Kurdish uh, film industry and producing many films and many um, helping with, with many other projects. Um, uh, Apo is doing quite a lot, quite active uh, in film industry. Um, Apo, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? What, what are you doing at the moment? Um, Absolutely. Um, I'm so happy to be part of this platform, uh, virtual platform. You know, no matter what, the cinema must go on, stories must live on. And I'm thankful that L London Kurdish Film Festival, London Global Film Festival is taking place to inspire young up and coming artists and become the voice of the stories that has been oppressed or unheard. And I'm really um, glad to share my work and uh, share my journey or put a couple of cents into uh, people's, uh, you know, work, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I, I was raised, I was born and raised in uh, Northern Kurdistan, Eastern Turkey. Um, and I moved to United States in 2004 to pursue my dreams in cinema. Um, I went to film school in Los Angeles, which is called University of Southern California. I graduated there with a BA in film television production. Um, after that, I just been focused on social issue and social impact films around the world, um, focusing on works that are uh, involved in uh, social, um, um, I mean, uh, inter, inter, um, like a cultural Misa, are you gonna edit this hopefully at some point? <laughs> I don't want to edit um Apo, yeah. so we're still recording. I'd like to kind okay. of carry on yeah. as normal. So uh, <laughs> so global interactions of cultures and uh, you know issues around the world. Can I ask you in that moment, in that yeah. point, that, that actually link me to my first question because uh you know I watched Resistance is Life by Khodan Gianne, and now I watched uh, how far is home quite recently actually i didn't have a chance to look at it but i watched it carefully and i see the similarities i see very similar the theme uh, in the story and uh the topic that you focus again is involving in uh, border refugee um and immigrants and love to the home you know and especially for curse i think it's quite big um, matter. Uh, so what, what attracts your attention, Apo? What, what is the, what is the problem? Why, why, why do you want to kind of put the focus on these elements and these story? I think more than problem, I think it's the inspiration in these stories that I find, you know, I myself being an immigrant and migrating to a different uh, place, uh, yet uh, trying to find belonging and with all the you know perception of the Western world on Eastern cultures has been very negative. Um, and recently it was escalating with you know U.S. Uh, anti-immigration policies, which you know influenced many other countries as well. So my goal and hope, you know, we're all immigrants. We change neighborhoods, we change cities, we change countries. We're all on the move. But what we have is the power and the and the stories that we can tell to inspire and make a change in our society one way or another. And, you know, showing these uh, complex stories, uh, it does, you know, giving this space and time, it might change, but showing the human resilience, showing how much hope there is in even the most tragic stories, uh, showing how much these people are um, given in our society, how much we're learning from them, how much they're contributing to society more than anyone. And that's that's been my dream and goal to give these uh, stories a positive um, uh, impact and bring it to the channels that people have not seen. These people that you think now going through the same 
journey as any other Kurds who live in diaspora, who live in um, any other country, countries, but not in, in Kurdistan. And you, you seem to be finding quite, quite good uh, uh, actors or characters for your, for your film. I mean, if you look at uh, Evelyn and now Ahmed is one of your main characters. When I see them, I can see the same similar like emotional reactions from them. You know, their voice and their characters are quite similar. How, I mean, first of all, can you tell me a bit more about what are these, got, what are these uh, kids are doing at the moment? Yeah, do have absolutely. Contact? Do you have contact with them? And yeah. how do you find them? How do you find them, Apple? Yeah. I am still in touch bo with both, uh, you know, subjects of my films, Evelyn uh, and Ahmed. Evelyn, you know, she's uh, back home in Kobani in the village of Shiran. They've been back for two and a half years now. Uh, I just talked to him recently, uh, you know, during, you know, celebrating Navros and she sent me a picture. So I, we congratulate and celebrate Navros together. Uh, she's back home. She's striving more than ever. Uh, she's very active, doing poetry, public speaking, wow. um, acting in theaters. Uh, she has. She is the person that you guys met five, six years ago. She's yeah. still uh, passionate about her identity, her culture, and she's very driven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Ahmed is. Uh, uh, I'm also in touch with him. We talked last week, and he. Uh, is about to finish his x-ray technician uh, diploma, which it was his dream to become an x-ray technician to help people in need. So he graduated from high school already, getting his x-ray technician uh, certificate. And he's also an aspiring um, uh, artist, and he has produced already three uh, music videos of himself. You know, he's rapping in English and Arabic, and he's making his music wow. videos. And... Uh, <laughs> collaborating with famous artists online so they're both doing great um the question of like how do i find them i think um to be uh, quite sincere um i don't find them um it's just the life bringing us together because both um subjects of my films that we uh, i actually met uh, was meant to be Mm -hmm. uh, you know, speaking of Evelyn, uh, it was my second week in the camps and we were just going around giving vaccines to children. Mm -hmm. And then she just approached to camera and she said, do you want me to give you an interview? And that's the opening scene of the film, basically. After just meeting her and in the moment hearing what she has to say, like, mm -hmm. I was like, this is, this is, this is her. This is her story. I have to tell her story. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Ahmed, uh, which which links to Resistance's life, because when we were screening, um, we had it in Cleveland uh, International Film Festival. And then I was introduced to an all immigrant uh, refugee school in Cleveland. And they were like, come see our school. This is uh, what we do. And then I walk in there. There were a bunch of students uh, came into the room who were interested in cinema and filmmaking. We had a little, you know, kind of conversation just like this. I was brought like a guest speaker. And then Ahmed was a shining star. It was like, you know, I want to be an actor. I want to be a mu musician. I, I love soccer. You know, he was like yeah. that kid just jumped yeah. in front of the line. And, I, and then as I talked to him more, I got to hear his personal story. And I was like, and the school was kind enough to open the doors and uh, let us to tell their story during the, uh, you know, Trump's uh, uh, immigration ban and travel bans of uh, of uh, immigrant immigration policies. And, and, and I think Americans doing something about it right now, um, about this uh, immigration policy, as I think you also, you must be glad that Trump is, Trump era is over at the moment. And Absolutely. hopefully these will impact positively on, on, on other kids as well. Absolutely. Uh, and that's the importance of, you know, social issue filmmaking, social impact filmmaking, storytelling is like uh, your, your stories should be bringing um, a conversation into the society and leading into change rather than just being a film playing by itself. And I feel like uh, what we're doing is very important and we have to stand behind our work um, mm -hmm. as a missionaries of bringing change into the society. Yeah, yeah. I think they're all, um, they were all so bright, so clever kids. And uh, I'm sure bringing them to that country uh, will have a lot of contribution, a lot of benefits to these uh, to the economy and, and society of that country. 
um, you know, uh, uh, kids like us or, or the generation like us um, experiencing this difficulty understand life better in many angles, I think, in my opinion. And I think that's your film showed in my, that's how I felt, Apo, you know, uh, when I saw Ahmed, I saw a feature in his eyes, you know, and a true hum human, like very transparent, very uh, true, real human, you know? And I think, um, thanks for bringing, you know, those introducing those kids uh, to us. Uh, and I think uh, hopefully everybody will, everybody enjoy the film. Um, I, I, I can hear that there is some, um, some turkey is screaming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> turkeys are back. Where are you at the moment? <laughs> uh, I'm, in, I'm in the mountains of like uh, Marine, which is like California, uh, up San okay. Francisco. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alok, yeah. the vision, Alok. Yeah, uh, Alok, yeah, yeah. Al Aloki. Yeah. Um, Apo, how, how do you cope with... Um, Current COVID, uh, how did you find it? Does it is, is it affecting you? Yeah, I think as a storyteller and filmmaker and artist, I think it has affected everyone. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my personal journey has been uh, more positive and trying to be in touch with myself and have a conversation with myself and uh, try to how I can push this into a blossoming uh, process, you know, uh, process. So I've been really... Uh, self-developing myself, including uh, creating some projects. And uh, slowly, uh, we're a bit ahead of the game here. So we uh, we got the vaccine, I got vaccinated, and now I'm back on the field. The industry is opening up slowly and I'm starting a couple of uh, projects. Um, That's what I was uh, going to ask, my second question, Apo. Uh, what yes. are your future uh, ideas now? We are really yeah. looking forward to see and hoping to kind of watch more films from you. Yes. Um, so I, I, as of yesterday, I was um, brought on to a project um, as a creative producer and uh, perhaps will help them uh, in the direction of the film is about um, interracial uh, racial injustice, um, uh, specifically, uh, I mean, given the fact what happened around the world during the pandemic uh, with the murder of George Floyd. Uh, I've, there's a big racial um, injustice stories that needs to be told. And there's a, a, where I live, it's a Marine County. So there's a big problem around this issue. So uh, a few uh, community activists have approached me to um, tell their stories and their voices. Mm -hmm. And it's probably what the next project is going to be. Aside a couple others that we have not started, but they're in the development. Uh, perhaps, uh, Okay. Some, yeah, you know, in some, a some, some story. Film, yeah. Yeah. So, a story from a Kurdish director, story of a kind of American society, and communities, and they struggle. Um, looking forward to see that, uh, yes. Apo. Uh, just lastly, Apo, with one sentence, can you, how can you describe Kurdish cinema? With one sentence, please. With one sentence. I think Kurdish cinema is a, is a global cinema with hope. With no hope. matter how much, no matter how much tragedy, how much uh, suffering our stories has, yet our resilience is there. Our hope is there. And even bringing these stories out there, we're showing the power in our, uh, in our stories, in our culture, in our motivation. And I, I could say, you know, Kurdish cinema is a sto cinema of resilience with hope. Thank you very much, Apo. Thanks for being with us um, and sharing your opinion. It's always nice to chat with you. Yes, thank and you. Very, really have, appreciate uh, the hard work that you guys putting out. And I want everyone to know this is a great opportunity to be in, involved and uh, spread the message. Thank you. So we, we send our message to our audience as well. Uh, if you have already watched uh, Resistance is Life and How Far is Home, uh, they are still available uh, on our platform, Global Kurdish Film Festival platform. Uh, it was always nice talking to you, Apo, with uh, turkeys screaming in the background, yes. uh, despite <laughs> nature, uh, yes. natural as well. So um, yeah, thank you very much and speak to you soon. Thank you, Farhan. I appreciate it.